yes, through the evening. Uh, advanced group who working with targeted C group and upper intermediate group prepared a play. Who remembers uh, the was the first part <coughs> at Halloween? Who was there? I do. Good. And it's actually the second part. Everything was done by themselves. Just join us, be a part of our family.
No, you're mistaken. What? My fault, though. I totally forgot to tell you. There was a letter from them in this okay. morning. Daddy says they are in Milano for the fashion week. Wow! Can you imagine? I beg my pardon, my ladies. Beatrix, I've been looking for you. We must taste the children to bed if we want them more rested. Sure, my love. Coming. Waiting. I thought for the crash that, you know, when Richard moved in, it became so dark in all the chambers. Yes, yes. He I calls his guardians all the time while he's saying that someone like bringing him headaches. You know? It's so dark, hot, and dusty in our room now. Shall I make to wash all the curtains at the same time to the maze? Then he can close all of them. You always knew how to make me laugh, darling. Oh, it's nothing. I'm sure your soldiers are, darling. Still, do you remember which date is going to be at the end of the week? Easter. Our children are three years old already, which means we'll finally get the fake Easter eggs by tradition. Yes. I do remember mine I've got from my father Easter. It was the peach color, the amethyst, or the bewitching wisdom I've got. Oh, oh sweet night. And I recall mine, it was as a turmoil and the color of blue sky for mm -hmm. honesty and a love of justice. Yes. There was the times, girl. But children are waiting and we must go. Help me please to okay. put it into the place because our journey is kind of strange a bit. So, uh, let's meet here in an hour. I'll go for my kids. Oh, yes, I also need. Let's hurry. <laughs> Finally, within a week, it was the day of the same holiday. When would Blair to the living room in the west wing of the castle oh, well, find a beautiful basket with the special Easter eggs for her sweetlings. They're so gorgeous! I need to rush and to tell them to Beatrix! So exciting! Beatrix! Look! My sweet Rose got a golden egg of the color of the sun for her charming kindness. And my little Robert, he received a bright crimson one with rubies to praise his selfless bravery. Oh, they're so nice! Have you come to claim your basket as well? Because actually, I'm are you freaking yeah. making fun of me? How could you do this to me again after all these years? What are you talking about? Did something happen? I'm still playing with jibs here. I know it was you. Uh, wait. Explain me at least to what are you talking about? Really? Pretending guiltless again? Aren't you? So you want to deny? You have stolen my children's Easter presents. Yes, I do deny. And stop, please. I came an hour before you. Turn this place upside down to find out that it wasn't enough for you. And then Helen, there was no my basket in the whole castle, which just was gracious yours. Well, look, Beatrix, it could be the servants happened. cannot in here without your permission, and you know that. I swear I didn't. Oh, of course you didn't. And you didn't poison me with the damn apple. And did not not steal charge from me at your oh ago. And did not take my title by right. Because if you remember, I'm the eldest daughter. I thought we lost it in the past. Just look, Beatrix, it really could be... There must be some explanation. Hey, I don't want to hear more lies. We both know. We like to be the first, the best. The most and the most. Leave me alone. No, just Beatrix, wait. <laughs> Since that case, Beatrix had not spoken to play at all. She was avoiding him, sitting silent away from his sister during meals. And one day, Blair even found a nest of ravens in the soil bed chamber. Is she out of her wits? Screw that Beatrix. I don't need her though. Let it be what she says then. <sighs> and the queen and the whole country is mine, isn't it? The quarrel took a new heart three days later, after dinner, when they were having some afternoon tea. Beatrix, you feeling well? Yes, she does. Mm -hmm. Of course she does. My
Not any blah. Could you please pass a little bit of sugar? Oh, yes. No problem. Are you insane? I've already had sugar here. She's with her. I told you, she's pure evil. She wants me to get fed. Oh, oh no, darling. I thought you hadn't put it yet. Um, well, you know, it can be bad if you already plum. My ladies. What? You have seen your reflection in the mirror. Oh, sorry, my majesty. In three mirrors. Because you don't seem to fit into one. The heck? Girls. Sugar that's up. Your majesty queen there. You are shaking all the hell and then breathe it. Enough of this guy. Now, if you would, leave to the chambers both. And I'd rather you think of your egregious behavior. I'm not interested what could bring you two up to this unless you make it up. Which is past time you did. I depart to take a rest. The excessive light of meal of garlic make it feel like But I'm the queen here! What shall I do? Mm, my god. Well, our grandma always said if the stuff is the pen, watch your fortune teller. Queen Blair hired a famous divination master in their kingdom, the best of the best, a rogue who came from the far east, the Oracle. Knock, knock. All seen Oracle. Directly for help. Please. I have foreseen you coming, my child. <laughs> a wise queen, a mindful sister, a mother of two children. Mm. So, do you know where I have gone? Perhaps. I know even more. I know the things that lay far beyond your imagination. It depends on what is the question, my dear. Well, you know about the answer. Please, Master Oracle. Tell me, what shall I do to sort all this mess? So let us see. So the sister put a stigma on you, mm -hmm. calling you a thief. Oh, the fate is terrace. Oh, oh. What, what do you see here? Oh, nothing good, my poor girl. The roots are hidden in the story of your brother-in-law. For Richard's wife, him. Well, dear queen, your brother-in-law is cursed. Is the creature of the night, a vampire. Oh no, he can't be. Are you serious? More serious than ever. Hence, the children your sister has given life to are that will become the servants of the night as well. Easter Bunny doesn't like them, avoids them, does not give them presents. Is that why my sister's children didn't get the basket? Exactly, my sweet. The spirits inform me oh. that you must tell your sister. She must know the truth. I must hurry. Queen Blair was shocked. Now she knew everything. She made her bed back to the castle. <laughs> English, please. Auditory. <laughs> Blair tried to tell her sister the truth, but she wouldn't listen even to the beginning. She proceeded calling her sister a liar and hiding from her. She even put rats in their spot. <laughs> And that's what done out, out of this. Oh, Your Majesty, what shall I do with the letters from Duke William? Shall I answer him with a rejection? Of no, John, can't you see I'm frustrated? I can't leave the business now. Uh, Figure something out or whatever. My Queen, don't you feel good? Share your words with the counselor. Okay, good Johnny. It's Beatrice. She's all into this stuff that I stole the fate Easter eggs from her children. But I didn't, for real! And I was to the oracle lately, and he said to me all the truth. She told John everything. She trusted him and asked for advice. But what John did after was unexpected. 
I apologize, Your Majesty, but I need to come for a call to the kitchen. I'll be back in ten minutes. <gasps> Fetch me some chocolates then. Okay. And ice cream. Of course. Okay. How are you feeling, my lady? Oh, you're so English. Go away. No, no, Your Highness. I've come on my personal behalf. I was wondering if you would like something. Well, just listen to me. What are you talking about? I'm so lonely. What bothers you? We're a duck! What must I do? She doesn't use my children's ex bed and acts like a lousy swine. Tell me, is she going to strike me again with one of her ill plans? Well, to be honest, your grace, she's grown with a half idea. A bad one. Frankly, it was her who tied into your dresses so we would allegedly think you've grown fat. So we just saved my princess, but I told you nothing. She's a monster. I can't believe it. My own sister. Again. Now I apologize. I need to make it to the great hall with the dusk. I'll be back soon. I see. Mr. Richard, tell him that I need someone to call. Of course, it's my pleasure to serve you. My queen, uh, I've got some secrets in my tail. Uh, uh, she, uh, Miss, uh, Princess Blair, uh, Yes, you mean Beatrix. I mean Beatrix. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, I brought some. Uh, did you know that Princess Beatrix ordered porcelain toys from the neighborhood kingdom? Uh, I'm the one who received packages, and I could. Oh, I need to pay her a lesson. We can do. And some. <laughs> yeah, everything will be arranged. I've just bumped into Richard in the corridor. And he said, it's really awful to tell you. What you said? Tell me, Johnny. Your sister is the one who receives packages. Uh... No, 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 you told that already. What said uh, Richard? What said Richard? He was in... He's guilty, yes, because my... Oh my god, I've been... Uh, are ill right now. Your so sister was... Uh, spoiled your children's dinner yesterday. That's I why they had to tell me ex. Maybe you want to talk with her? Yes, stupid. She hates me for nothing. I don't know what to do. I yes. need to go and to talk with her just right now because she drives me crazy. But you have to wait some minutes longer. Beatrix went out and came. She'll be here soon. Ah, uh, well, I will. Just you, please, get back to your work. Of course, my queen. My princess, it's urgent. Queen Valerie uh, is going to the hall and she will take all your crowns. No! Never! There you are! Yo! El Grinch! Oh, as a queen, I order you to listen. I won't listen to you. You mm. don't deserve to be called a queen, a liar, poisoner, fancy thief. Stop bringing this back. Because, you know, you won't hide lack of wits by self beating You know, you're the one self beating here. I was a bad man, my heart. You surely left your open your eyes. For you. Stop the madness. To the living room. We'll have serious talk. Dear sister in law. Mm -hmm. Enter. Oh, Johnny, it's you. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Say me, please. What do I do? Because I'm hated by my family, who wouldn't even hear me out. And by my mom, who's trolling. My queen. I know you feel lonely, but maybe you, Charles, is it worth it for you? You could do better with someone more poetic, responsible, and handsome. Excuse me, what, what my, are you talking about? My lady, uh, I know I'm not a hard one like Charles, but I have a royal soul. Imagine the power we can create together. What? What have you told me? To your queen? I know it's kinky, but... Never! Let never I speak of this again. You know, I could be a pretty bad person, but I'm a loving and loyal wife. Do you have apologies, my lady? No. I forgive you, just for this time, because you're like sort of my kin, but now leave me, I must rest after such a shock. Uh, as an excuse, may I give you this apple? I brought it instead of chocolate. Words. Apple. Okay, I'll do this. Why? Uh, Please, don't you know the story? Because it's abandoned apples. But it came from your ma from his majesty. <laughs> <laughs> from the special supply of his majesty, yes. Charlie never tasted them. 
Well, just and get back to your work, okay? Oh my god. Um, oh my god. So easy. <laughs> oh my god. Just so easy as never did. She is just a transport sister. Ah, I've got a chance and I will not vote. If you want to stand on my way, don't do it. Uh, now I must have my luck with Beatrix. But the kingdom will be mine. Anyway. <laughs> my princess? Oh, it's Richard. Come in. I wish I could Richard. It's harsh! Oh, I've heard that a lot of misunderstandings between you two. It's partially true. We are from different countries. We relate to different countries and nations. And sometimes he's silly to say. So, but what if you broke up with him and find someone more calmly, charming? Beatrice, I'm sorry. I didn't want to make you upset. I know the situation is difficult, but I do not want to lose us. I love you. Please forgive me. I want to write too much, Harley. I love you. Listen to your heart. The Eastern celebrations were on the verge of closing, so the royal family went out to greet people and draw the line under this celebration. Richard and Beatrix hadn't found there, so they went out on themselves with Councillor John. <laughs> Dear small folk, we're pleased to announce that we've had a great time arranging this holiday and given it to you, or spam the theatrics, people of the kingdom, you must know all the truth about uh, the royal family, even if it's not pleasant. Look at them closer, who do you see? Two sisters who can live in peace and harmony and our dear King Charles, uh, he's in the middle of nowhere and also he's a vampire, you know? Uh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, vampire. It doesn't matter for you. You came here and you have a pie. Yes, you know. Did you know? Listen, Bea, I wanted to tell you, but guys, seize him. And don't worry, I will see the sunlight.